Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be back in the workshop with doing a bit of woodwork and making an oak mantle to uh, send up to my brother for his house renovation. Can't really consider this a workshop at the moment, it's just jam packed, it's more of a storage room. But hopefully, we can clear a bit of space and get to work on a couple of these. So, this is the one we're working on. Uh, it's kind of a three quarter width oak sleeper, to be fair. It's kind of more of a landscape grade, but I've gone for a nice straight grain. There's no knots in it, I don't think. And uh, by the time it's planed up and we've kind of softened the edges, it should be just what we're after. These two boards are actually much drier. These have been air dried for a couple of years and they are what we're going to build the box lintel out of. So there will actually be a bit of joinery involved in those two. So that's why they need to be much more stable. This one is going to be full on rustic. Once we have that new workshop built, we'll have proper drying racks and timber storage that we can hang on the wall. Because at the moment I just use these Saw horses. And if you want to get to one thing at the bottom, you have to move everything. So. Okay, so this is the beast that we're going for today. So there's a bit of wane on the back there and a knot there. The measurements are 1.2 meters or, or thereabouts, so we, we can pick the best section of this. So here's the photo he sent me. You see, it's just kind of a rustic oak beam. I think someone was selling us on eBay. Uh, so it's pretty much the same same idea. They're gonna have the wood burner below, and they want kind of a, I guess about 50 mil of it showing beyond the plaster. So they're gonna fit this 75 mil thick oak onto the wall with some steel strap, then plaster over it, and plaster flush to it. If that makes sense, so it looks a bit more legit. So that's kind of exposed the end there, and you can see that the heart of the wood is actually up here. So our, our rings are kind of this way down. Um, and one, one thing we don't want to happen is that it, when it dries, it cups away from the wall and causes more gaps than we want at the top and bottom. So this is one of those books that uh, just gets me dreaming, which is this uh, book. It's called Oak Frame Buildings by Rupert Newman and um, I've had it for several years now and it's just one of those things, you know, one day I aspire to to build either a whole house or maybe an extension to this one using oak framing. Um, but there's some great general info in here of kind of how wood shrinks and, and how to kind of read the wood. So that's why I'm just kind of, just got this out quickly to reference against it. Right, quick, after a quick bit of reading, uh, it looks like the best way to have it Basically, because we've got the, the heart, the kind of eye of the wood there, the, these ends are going to tend to want to cup downwards. It won't cut much because it's such a thick board, but if there is any movement, it's going to go that way. So we kind of want this to be the room side face. If it was going to kind of, if this was our wall and it was going to cup away from the wall like that, we'd end up with a visible gap top and bottom. If we have it this way and it goes in slightly, I don't really see a problem uh, or as much of a problem there. So that's what we're going to do. So the next question is, are we going to try and get this through the planer? I 
think it's going to be worth doing. I haven't, uh, I haven't got a belt sander big enough and scary enough to, to take serious material off this because it's obviously got all the saw marks still on it. I think we'll put it through the planer and see what happens. This is a bit of a tester to check our height. Unfortunately, we don't have any dust extraction yet. So my bit of ducting here will just leave us in a neat pile on the floor. Look at that, that is awesome. That's like a, an oak floor at the moment. Right, we've got a few more spots here that it's not taking off yet, but that is perfect. There's all of our oak shavings. We go straight in the chicken pen. So I'm not sure how well you can make this out on camera yet now that it hasn't been finished or anything, but really happy with that end. We've obviously got a nick in the blades, in the knives of the planer because there's a high point there which will just sand off. But like this end, we've got a knot here, and a little bit more of a rustic figure, but I'm happy with that. So now we just want to plane the top and bottom, I think. We'll use that uh, little hand planer. Definitely cleaned it up enough. I'm just gonna see if I can plane off this back edge where there's a bit of wane. All right, now we've got the kind of clean faces. I've left a few saw marks on the top, so they're like quite nice and there'll be a little bit of that showing. Uh, we don't want to make it too clean and, uh, and flat. So the front edge is now nice and smooth, but they, they're, they were quite keen to have some kind of waning effect, natural edges. So we'll kind of round over and scoop a little bit out with the plane. Maybe the hand plane would be better. So that's about 100 grit now. Um, I'm gonna take it a bit further in a minute. What I'm gonna do, I think it looks a bit slabby, so I'm gonna use this like hand scraper. Just kind of give it a little bit, like when you see a scraped oak floor. Hopefully it'll give it a little bit of a subtle, sort of, not texture, but um, a bit of a variation, I guess, when the light hits it.
I'm going to go for three or four coats of this. I'm hoping it will get a bit darker. I can't. It's the antique pine bro uh, bro and That's all I had. So I think it'll darken down to the colour of the sample he sent me. So if I do this, we'll pick up the video by the second or third coat. There we go, that is the finished article. We, I ended up doing three coats of the, the wax on there and then the girls sort of buffed it and did all the nice finishing work this morning to get it all, uh, all finished ready to send. So I'm gonna send it, fortunately I weighed it and it came in at 16 kilos and I think the limit with our courier is 25. So that's fine, I'm gonna get it wrapped up, sent out today. So hopefully within a week or so, I'll be able to get some photos of it looking finished and in place, and then they're gonna fit the fire and the actual wood burner in in the future. The next one I've got to build it's very different, it's a much thinner timber and we're going to be making like a, a box beam or, or an L-shaped lintel to fit snugly around an, an existing opening. So we'll pick that up in a couple of weeks when I've got some more precise measurements and, uh, and see how we get on. If you enjoyed this one, give us a thumbs up. It's always handy to see what you like watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. There's all sorts of fun stuff going on and we try and get videos out at least once a week. Right, I'd better go and get this booked in for the courier. So that's it. So remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll catch you next time.